Hello, and welcome to another installment of 8 Equals Negative 3, the show all about things that science has gotten wrong. Now, today's show is a commentary on the recent Ham Nye debate, but it's also meant as a companion show to Genesis Week, Season 3, Episode 24. There are a lot of things I'd like to comment on, but since Ian has already touched on so many, I'd like to restrict my comments to things that he hasn't covered. First, I would like to address Nye's original assertion that creationism is unscientific and somehow dangerous to our society. Well, let me draw a parallel. Michio Kaku, one of the great scientists of our time, believes in string theory. Now, a lot of respected physicists, or perhaps I should say outside scientists, do not believe in string theory. Therefore, by Nye's logic, Kaku is stupid and unscientific. And his theory is dangerous. We must not teach it to our children or we would hold them back intellectually. Sounds dumb when we apply the logic to other positions, doesn't it? Now, as to Nye's assertion that science loves to be corrected, science is a process and has no feelings. Scientists, on the other hand, hate to be corrected. Among the numerous examples I could point out, let me bring up the story of Ignaz Semmelweis, an early proponent of germ theory who posited that new mothers were getting sick and even dying because doctors were not washing their hands when going from surgery to delivery. Now Semmelweis was trying to save lives, but for his efforts he was committed to an asylum where he died two weeks after being committed because he was beaten to death. Or how about Pythagoras, who believed that every number was the product of a relationship between two whole numbers? When one of his students proved him wrong, that student somehow mysteriously vanished at sea. But the point I would most like to address is Nye's continual assertion that the Bible has somehow suffered the effects of the telephone game. Suffering accumulated changes as it's been recopied and recopied and recopied. This is demonstrably false with only a minimum of research. Now anybody who knows anything about the Old Testament knows that it was copied meticulously, ridiculously meticulously. The scribes would copy not word by word, but letter by letter. If one mistake was made, the scribe could correct it. If two mistakes were made, the page had to be scrapped and started over. If three mistakes were made, the scribe had to ditch the entire manuscript and begin again from scratch. At the end of each line, the scribe would perform a checksum, as each Hebrew letter was assigned a numerical value. He would add those values up and check the sums against the sums on the original to make sure that everything was correct. As for the modern English version of the Bible, we don't translate from translations. That's a no-no. We always translate from the original Hebrew and Greek. And we can confirm that our modern copies of the Bible are true to the old manuscripts by comparing them to the old manuscripts, such as, for instance, the Dead Sea Scrolls. And we have manuscripts that are even older than that. And let's not forget, the Bible may very well be the most quoted collection of works of all time. We have enough period quotes that we can reconstruct the entire Bible just from those quotes. And lastly, there's Nye's assertion that there is no nuclear medicine education program in Kentucky. Did you check at the Lexington, Kentucky Bluegrass Community and Technical College? Whose website you can't really see because this is audio only, but it's over my shoulder right there. There are literally people lining up to get in. Now, as I said before, there's a lot more that I would like to touch on, but can't due to time constraints. Instead, I encourage you to check out Genesis Week, Season 3, Episode 24, in which Ian Juby discusses the Ham Nye debate. I'm Orrin Otter. Thank you for joining me today for this edition of 8 Equals Negative 3.